comrades and friends. We all have a story to tell. Often, our stories intertwine with other people's stories as they come into our lives and we enter theirs. We learn from each other, get inspired, build on our stories, and become the person we are. Today, let me share a little about my story. My parents married when they were in their early 20s and were blessed with children fairly early in their marriage. They had to struggle a little because they were not financially stable. My father started off as a plumber at a hotel. My mother had always been a civil servant. We were by no means well off, but my parents, despite their limited means, always showed me that it was always possible to give to the people around them, be it by volunteering their time or by helping a needy family. It was my parents' upbringing that led me to the path of community work. Through my volunteer work, I also met a lot of dedicated volunteers who tirelessly gave their time and effort to improve the lives of others. Their stories inspired me, and volunteering soon became a way of life. Entering politics never crossed my mind until a few years ago when I was asked by the party if I would consider it if I'm given the opportunity to serve. The easy answer was to say no. It was easier to just continue with what I was doing and remain in my comfort zone and not to have to take on an additional role. However, a few things changed my mind. I was regularly volunteering at the Meet the People session and I was exposed to a lot of issues faced by regular Singaporeans. I thought that there is an opportunity to do something if I could actually contribute towards the development and implementation of government policies. Also, my exposure at the Sharia court gave me an understanding of some of the issues faced by the Malay Muslim families and I was keen to come up with solutions to help these families. The other thing that changed my mind were the conversations I was listening to um, with the people around me, their concerns regarding certain policies and the need to change the system. Yes, sure, there is always room for improvement. However, I feel that it's important to understand the full picture and dynamics of a situation before we insist for a change. I recall one morning, um, I was having coffee with Comrade Masago Zulkifli and a couple of grassroots volunteers. Um, I was volunteering at Tampines West at that time. We were lamenting about several things, including the fact that it was sometimes difficult to explain to people the need to balance different interests. At a certain point, I said, well, we do what we can. To that, Prom Comrade Masagos promptly responded and said, no, we do what we must. It became clear to me that if I wanted to preserve what Singapore had achieved, if I wanted to continue living in a country where the government is strong and clean, I must do my part. It came time to roll up my sleeves and fight for the values which I believed in. The political arena is challenging and demanding. Many people have different views and are increasingly vocal in expressing them. I believe it is important to have diversity of views, but we must be careful not to let the difference of opinions divide us irretrievably. At the end of the day, we must make decisions which are best for Singapore as a whole. I have quickly learned that it is not possible to please everyone, and many will disagree with you. I've been fortunate to receive many kind wishes and support from family, friends, and even strangers. But when things become challenging, it is important for me to always go back to why I am doing this. And I am clear that I am here for the people. And indeed, there is a lot to do in understanding the ground, in actually planning future plans. I also draw strength from my grassroots volunteers at Bukit Batu East, who are a bunch of united and committed people who want to improve the lives of their fellow Singaporeans. So I believe there are two key things that will help us as we march forward in our endeavour to win the mandate of the people. One, clarity of purpose. Two, party members staying united. As long as we are clear about our intention and purpose, that we are here to fight for the best of our fellow Singaporeans, I believe we can withstand whatever challenges come our way. As long as we remain united, we can weather all storms and forge through victorious. Allow me at this juncture to say a few words in Malay. 
Saudara-saudari yang dihormati, kita kini diambang satu perjuangan. Perjuangan untuk memelihara segala apa yang telah dicapai oleh Singapura selama 50 tahun ini. Memang benar, banyak yang boleh diperbaiki dan memang elok untuk mendapatkan pandangan ramai kerana kita dapat memikirkan keputusan yang baik sekali untuk Singapura. Namun kita perlu sedar bahawa usaha ini bukan mudah bak menarik rambut dalam tepung. Rambut jangan putus, tepung jangan berselerak. Dalam perbincangan untuk mengadakan perubahan, kita perlu pastikan kita tidak kehilangan apa yang telah pun kita kecap. Maka amat penting untuk kita pastikan pucuk pimpinan yang kuat, amanah dan cekap terus memimpin Singapura agar negara ini terus maju dan berjaya. Kita perlu pastikan parti tindakan rakyat terus memegang pucuk pimpinan ini. Bagi saya, dua perkara penting yang membantu saya dalam perjuangan ini. Pertama, saya jelas tentang niat dan matlamat saya dalam usaha ini. Saya ingin berkhidmat untuk masyarakat. Kedua, semua ahli perlu bersatu dan komited. Saya yakin sekiranya kita seiring dan selangkah, kita akan mencapai kejayaan. Comrades, I have one last story to share. To inspire me, my best friend had sent me a quote, and this was an off-quote speech by Theodore Roosevelt, which I would like to share. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short, again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows at the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails, daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Comrades, as we enter the arena, may we be guided by our purpose and may we always be stay strong as a team. Thank you.